Thank you for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Roley Hoyt. Faith has the night off. People across the globe starting their day on the wrong side of the keyboard. As we all navigated a worldwide cyber outage, the effects could be seen at airports, banks, and businesses. Tonight, THV 11's Brooke Buckner has an update on how Clinton National Airport is recovering from the outage and what travelers need to know heading into the weekend. Lately, flight delays and cancellations have been pretty common, but when a global cyber outage is behind it, it has a major ripple effect, one that Clinton National Airport is experiencing, like airports all around the country. It was the, the typical, oh, this is normal to you, this is definitely not normal. Dan Carpenter spent Thursday night and Friday morning trying to get back home to New York, but ran into a lot of flight delays. We didn't even come here other than to catch a flight. So this wasn't even part of the plan? Not originally. part of the plan at all. Even though Carpenter is a frequent traveler, he says he hasn't experienced something of this magnitude. Yeah, this is kind of a different, a different beast for us, so I don't know. We're figuring it out as we go. Shane Carter with Clinton National Airport tells me he expects delays to linger for days. We've had several delays and a few cancellations with the global technology outage. Thankfully, passengers for the most part have been very understanding. Carter also says the impact goes beyond just airline operations. Food service, HMS host, our vendor that operates the restaurants here in the airport, their computer systems have been out also. Thankfully, they're back up now. And on top of dealing with the outage, Carter says a fire alarm malfunctioned Friday morning too. A lot of passengers had to be rescreened in addition to the other situation going on, and we certainly appreciate their understanding with that. In Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Brooke, thank you. And in the latest update from the airport, there have now been 30 delayed flights and at least six cancellations. But as you heard them say, all the food services are open. Carter encourages all travelers to double check their flight status before coming down to the airport.